Finally, 2020 is in the rearview mirror and I could not be happier. So I wanna take this moment to talk about a few things that happened in the world of hearing healthcare this past year and talk about a couple things that you should be really excited about in 2021. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, doctor of audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Wow, that was a rough one. I'm pretty sure that nobody saw that coming. You know, COVID and all. Despite the fact that most audiology clinics were forced to shut their doors for a couple of months due to the pandemic, more individuals have decided to treat their hearing loss this year than any year ever before. And it's primarily due to the fact that when individuals wear masks, not only does that lower the volume of their voice, which makes them harder to hear, you also can't use visual cues to help you fill in the gaps of what you're missing if you have a hearing loss. Fortunately, audiology clinics are very resourceful and they figured out ways to treat their patients even though their clinics had to actually be shut down. And one of the ways they did this was implementing remote care. Now, I was a very early adopter of remote care in 2019. I saw it as a great way to be able to do programming with a patient when they're not inside of my clinic. But I did more remote care programming in the first month that we were shut down due to COVID than I did throughout the entire year of 2019. All I can say is that it is very fortunate that we have hearing aid technology that can do the things that we need it to do because this single feature allowed us to get through 2020 much smoother than it would have if COVID would have happened even a few years earlier. Generally speaking, 2020 was a very bad year, but it wasn't all bad. If hearing restoration is your thing, just look at pharmaceutical drug company Frequency Therapeutics. They showed very promising phase 1A clinical trials for their FX322 drug that has been designed to regrow or regenerate hair cells inside of the cochlea, which is your hearing organ. And they've also successfully recruited for their phase 2A clinical trials, which should be completed early in 2021, and we should see actual data from this clinical trial by the second quarter of 2021. If tinnitus relief is your thing, then take a look at pharmaceutical company Autonomy, who just reported positive data from their phase one, phase two clinical trials on their drug Odo313 that is designed to reduce the loudness and annoyance of tinnitus. Their phase two clinical trial is expected to start in the first quarter of 2021, which means that we should see data of this clinical trial come out before the end of the year. If we look back a couple of years to 2019, we saw that there wasn't that much amazing hearing aid technology that came out that year. But 2020 did not disappoint. There were a lot of the major manufacturers that came out with new hearing aid technology that was absolutely amazing. I mean, you had Phonak come out with new technology, you had Starkey, you had Resound, you had Widex. All of them came out with really revolutionary hearing aids that were amazing that we got to see in 2020, even though we had the COVID pandemic going on. Now I have some first-hand insider information about new technologies coming out in 2021 and it is going to be coming out early in 2021. So make sure that you stay tuned because this technology is probably going to blow your mind as well. Probably the thing that I am proudest about in 2020 is that you guys are actually demanding best practices be performed when you're getting hearing aids from a hearing care professional. Nothing makes me happier when I have people tell me that they refused to see a hearing care provider because they didn't follow best practices like real measurement and decided to schedule an appointment with a different provider who does. All I can say is that from the beginning of my YouTube channel in 2017, I've been trying to convince individuals that it is not just the technology that they put in and on their ears to help them hear better. You have to actually set up that technology in the right way if you want to maximize your performance with hearing aids. In 2021, I fully expect that this trend will continue as more and more consumers realize that the way a hearing aid is fit and programmed is even more important than the technology that you use if you want to hear your best. Quick shout out to all of the hearing care professionals inside of my provider network who are committed to following best practices. You have helped countless individuals hear better in 2020, all because you refuse to cut corners when providing hearing treatment. Stay tuned because there is some really exciting news about the network coming up in January of 2021. And how can I make a video talking about 2021 without mentioning over-the-counter hearing aids? Well, the fact of the matter is that nobody, including the FDA, has a freaking clue about what's going on with the Over-the-Counter Hearing Aid Act. 
at this point, we've got people delaying their hearing loss treatment going on four years now because they're just waiting for this affordable treatment option that's supposed to be right around the corner. When the Over-the-Counter Hearing Aid Act was signed into law in 2017, we were promised to receive guidelines from the FDA in August of 2020, followed by a six-month comment period. Well, that has not happened yet, and I'm quite frankly not sure that this is going to happen over the course of 2021 either, which means it could be a couple more years from right now before we even see the first over-the-counter hearing aid hit the market. So if you're someone who's waiting for these magical over-the-counter hearing aids and we don't even know what that means yet, you might wanna consider some other affordable treatment options so you don't continue living your life at an increased risk of cognitive decline, dementia, social isolation, depression, and even higher risk of falling. So long as those affordable hearing aid options are not from one of the many online hearing aid scam companies that flat out steal your money by not giving you a refund when their junky hearing aids don't actually work for you because after all, the FDA and FTC are doing absolutely nothing to regulate the industry right now. To end this video on a more positive note, if I had one wish of what I would like to see happen in 2021, it would be the release of LE Audio in the consumer world and ultimately into the hearing aid world. Now, is this gonna happen in 2021? Probably not, but a guy can wish, right? Now, if you don't know what LE Audio is, I highly recommend that you watch the video that I made about LE Audio a few months ago, and I will link that video in the description. Statistically speaking, it is impossible for 2021 to be any worse than 2020. And 2020 was still the best year ever to have a hearing loss if you actually wanted to treat your hearing loss. Which means that 2021 is going to be even better. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. If you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com, and have a happy new year.